All right, it's time to discuss the importance of having the correct fuses inside your amp, especially for things like this. This is a Marshall 2203 JCM 800, uh, the reissue, the one with the little you know, effects loop board and all the rest of that. Uh, it came in and unfortunately it had some scorched components. So this here, for example, is one of the bias uh, current sense resistors between the cathode of the output tubes and ground, completely cooked, absolutely destroyed. This is the tube that went short. You can see up there, you've actually got the getter, that little silver stuff that's inside of there. That's there to basically get rid of any like, you know, uh, oxygen and other gases inside of the tube when it's evacuated and heated up. That's gone clear because it's shorted, it's gone bad, it's cooked and thrown stuff in there. Now, this probably wouldn't have been quite so bad. It probably wouldn't have destroyed that component, except this here is the fuse that was in HT. HT, if we look here, flip it upside down, imagine what it says. Slow blow, one amp. This is not a slow blow, one amp. Rotate it around. Keep going. There's a slow blow, 3.15 amp. Mains, filter, mains fuse, 3.15 amp. So, at some point, something has potentially happened and someone has put in a different fuse or just grabbed whatever was on hand or someone's gone to go check the fuses and just put them in, you know, arse backwards. Let's take a look what we got here. Come on, there we go. Now what we got here? Uh, yep, so this is a slow blow one amp fuse. So someone's put those fuses in backwards. When they've done that, that tube's gone short and instead of causing that fuse to trip because you know, it would have reached one amp and gone, oop, that's enough, it could literally dissipate three times as much power because it had three times as much fuse rating going on there. Always make sure that you've got the right fuses in the sockets. Buy a used amp, or if you're working on one and repairing them, just check and confirm. You know, I did this before, plugging it in and testing it and make sure everything was all hunky-dory because I don't trust what a customer or a previous tech may have done and good I, good on me found that problem i personally would like to see when you've got two fuses that are different values for different things having different sizes so like a 3ag for that and a 2ag for that that way they're not interchangeable and you don't end up with something like this so check your fuses and make sure that you got the right ones in there